hello what is up welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here we're picking up some steady subscribers and i'm kind of shocked because honestly i started this channel just really to update my family since i moved to the uk um but anyway we are going to be doing another resin ashtray video today because that seems to be very popular at the moment everybody seems to be you know making ashtrays I don't know, I don't smoke, still don't smoke, still don't have any use for these trays, so honestly they're just holding my jewelry and I'm selling them slash giving them to my friends. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do another one today, and this one I'm super excited about. So we're gonna be using the same mold that I did the flower, the dried flower um, resin ashtray in. So got this mold, um, I'm using art resin. So I got a ton of resin. This is just the resin and then the hardener is in a separate, um, what is this, half gallon. Um, so I mix one part this and one part um, hardener. Uh, this is a one to one ratio. It dries in about six hours, um, I should say. Uh, when you have enclosed molds, sometimes it takes a bit longer just because there's not air getting to it. Um, so I do like to keep my projects sit a bit longer, but this is a very good resin. It's, you know, low VOCs, it's food safe, it's, it's, it, this is a good resin. It's very safe. Um, you still want to be in a ventilated room and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so we're using resin, that ashtray, and then we have a butt ton of beer caps um so i mean we are definitely a miller family here um honestly we drink all sorts of beer but i think miller is honestly what i have the most of maybe spotted cow we have a ton of spotted cow that's a wisconsin beer um but i think what we're gonna do today is take all these miller light caps and put them in this resin mold um i'm also gonna use a bit of pearl which is gonna be mixed in with my resin and it's just gonna make it kind of shiny. I don't wanna say glittery, cause it is a pearl. Um, but yeah, that is what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get started. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, so I have all of my Miller caps here. Um, obviously, this is more than enough. This is not, <laughs> this is way too much for what we need. So I know for sure we have more than plenty. So I'm just gonna put these off to the side and we're gonna mix up our resin. Okay, so here is my hardener and my resin. Like I said, we're gonna do one to one. I'm just gonna use these little cups. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much resin we're gonna need. So what I'm gonna do is first just take two of these. I'm gonna fill one up with resin, one up with hardener. And then we're gonna mix it in this cup here. Um, if you're using these silicone things, so they have measurements on the side. Tip, if you take a Sharpie and mark these before, you pour resin into it because it's going to completely disappear on you and then you won't know your measurements at all and it's really annoying. So I like to do two separate cups and then just pour in here. I don't know. Make sure you are mixing this cup thoroughly, but don't mix it too quickly because you don't want air bubbles. Okay, so now what I want to do is taking a bit of this pearl, I want to add this to my resin. And this is just going to make it kind of shiny, sparkly, just a bit more interesting than just clear resin. I'm 
just want to mix that in. So for this step, I'm not exactly 100% sure what I want to do because I do want these shoved down in the sides and such. Um, should I bend some of them maybe? work the bottom just might be a little weird so all that I'm gonna do is just take some of these and bend them just a bit nothing too crazy just do that I don't care if it's not perfect it doesn't matter to me Shove them in there. That's working. Okay, so I think we have the hole outside. That looks cool. So I think I'm gonna pour in some resin now. So as you can see, I do have air bubbles in my resin. Um, what I'm gonna do is just take a kitchen torch, hit it quick, it'll disappear. And we're just gonna pour in some resin in here now. Focus it around the edges. Okay, and I definitely need more resin, so while I mix up resin, this is going to set, and hopefully all that resin just continues to fall down into all the cracks and edges there. Okay, so this has had some time to set, so I'm hoping, you know, a bunch of the resin got down in there. So I'm just going to make sure there's no bubbles. We're gonna pour in some more resin. This is the exact same mix, one to one ratio, with some of that pearl. Just gonna dump that in. Let it sink down in the sides. I really want to make sure that there's no gaps or anything, so I'm hoping that this is all going in there. It looks like it is. Um, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but it looks like it's getting down in there. So hopefully it will, and it'll look really cool. Okay, so now we're going to start putting some of the bottle tops up here. I'm just going to torch it quick. Got the air bubbles. And we're just going to start shoving these in here. And I am making sure I kind of move them around to make sure that there's resin underneath them. Because nothing sucks more than air bubbles. Nah, 
Let me just get one in the middle. Oh, maybe. Hopefully. Oh my gosh. <laughs> cool. No more resin on top. I ended up using about another tablespoon of resin. So pretty much, what is that, 15 milliliters? Altogether, I used about 75 milliliters of resin, which is about two and a half ounces of resin. Um, that doesn't seem like a lot of resin, uh, but I think the bottle caps just take up a lot of room. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, there's no air bubbles in there. I've been moving it around and trying to make sure that I kind of like massage and pop all the little areas. That way resin like sinks down in there for sure. Cause I really just don't want air bubbles or anything funky happening in here. Uh, so I'm gonna hit it with the torch another time to get all of the surface bubbles out. And yeah, I think honestly, I'm just gonna watch it for the next couple hours and we'll be back to unmold it. Oh my goodness, it is day two. Look what we get to one mold. Dude, this looks so cool already. Um, So I let it sit, mm -hmm, say 24 hours. I let it sit 24 hours because I wanted just to be sure that it was all hard, set, cured, dried, ready to go for today. Um, and then I went to work, I went to sleep. Yeah, all that good stuff. So it is now 24 hours later. And we are going to unmold this bad boy and see what we got. I have super high hopes for it. And I'm hoping that it'll be cool. Um, I'm just trying to get an edge started before. Ha <laughs> ha, it is working. Because I did get some like resin overflow onto um, my mold. So yeah, let's flip the camera around and unmold this. I really hope this turns out good. Of course, this is a little sharp. Oops. But whatever. Hopefully, you know, just be careful if you're doing this because that bottle cap is right where I'm like shoving my thumb in here to get the mold up. So definitely watch what you're doing because... You don't want to cut yourself. Okay, so far so good. Almost around to the edge. Oh my gosh. This one's difficult. Don't have too much air bubbles. so difficult. Come in. There we go. And come on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Oh my god. That looks so cool. So, of course, there's no air bubbles. Oh my god. Oh, there's one right there. So, right there, resin didn't get in, so you can kind of see. That's just bottle cap. You can touch bottle cap there. But honestly, this isn't going to be food. Food? This isn't going to be food. This isn't going to be eaten out of or drank. It's not going to really hold anything, so I don't care about that. But these are perfect. The side is super cool. You can see that pearl. So this is a pearl. This is not a glitter or a flake or anything. Um, I added a lot. Uh, you can add less and it won't be so extreme. Um, but I really do like the effect that the pearl added rather than just having the clear resin. Um, of course, you can have just clear resin. It doesn't matter. Um, I do go in and clean up these edges because I don't like unfinished edges on my project. Um, so I honestly just get some sandpaper, depends, kind of like 400, 600 grit, and just rub the bottoms to get them sanded down. 
and a bit more finished because it will just take off that edge. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work with like these bottle caps sticking up, but I mean, as you can see, there's really no bubbles in the edges here. And that's because I, I kept moving the mold and squishing it and moving it around. Oh my God, this turned out way better than I imagined. Let's take it outside and look at it in the, I would say sunlight, but it's raining today in England, of course. But yeah, let's take it and look at it in some other light. So here I have the flash on. And I am inside by a window. Wow. This is cool. This is honestly one of my favorite trays that I've made. Wow. Let's go outside. Okay, so we are now outside in, I mean, I guess there's sun. Not too much sun out. But yeah, this honestly turned out so cool. I love the sides that you can see, like, the underside of the caps. And they are bent, but you honestly can't really tell that I bent them in there. What is your deal? Hi. You want to look at it? Do you like it? Do you approve? Huh? Do you approve? Do you? Okay. But yeah, so that is um my Miller Lite ashtray. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was cool. If you have any other ideas for me to put in resin, like let me know, cause honestly, I'm down to try anything. So if you have any weird ideas for anything to try and put in an ashtray, just you know, leave me a comment, send me a message, all that good stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.